causal matrix. Terminal the matrix. Now, what you notice is this. When it comes to finding the terminal of matrices, um, usually you can only find the terminal of a square matrix. Listen, you can only find the determinant of a square matrix. What is a square matrix? It's simply a matrix where all the dimensions are the same. If the dimensions if the dimensions are the same, what does it mean? Number of rows put what there, number of columns. So hence, I find the determinant for what two by two matrix. 3x3 three three matrix, 4x4 four four matrix, 5x5 five five matrix, not 3x2. They will not ask for the terminal for 3x2. Why? They're not the same. It's not a square matrix. Please. Alright, so what do I say? Find the terminal. It's usually for a square matrix. For your level to be 2x2 two two and what? 3x3 three three matrix only. Alright, take down. Take down. Given a square matrix A, this. Given a square matrix A, this A equals to M N P Q. Given a square matrix A, we can say two by two matrix. We want to. Given a two by two matrix A equals to M N P Q, comma. The determinant of the matrix is written as this. So how do you write the terminal? You write that matrix. Put the word there between what two lines, two straight lines, two straight lines. This this means the terminal. So whenever you see uh, a matrix like this, this word there, determinant. Now observe. I said before, I wrote this, not this. What you guys write your work? But now you slant it. You change it from. Maths to English. From math is to what there? Eh? Monotons and deep thoughts. Change it. You don't need A, A, whatever. Right? So please, be straight lines, not slanted. Okay? We said that. Let's open this one. So, how do I get the terminal of a square by a uh, square matrix? Let's start with 2 by 2. 2 by 2 is very simple. There's something called your principal. Diagonal. I was going to say there's something called your principal diagonal. What's a principal diagonal? If I look at this matrix here, you can see my right hand here. If I slant this way, so the right hand slanting of the matrix is called the principal diagonal. So here it becomes this one like this. So this becomes my principal diagonal. My right hand slanting. Of course, you see how the left hand slanting. Right. But how do you uh, find the terminal of a 2x2 two two matrix? Listen, simply take the difference between the product of the elements. Now, by the way, I know I didn't mention this. These are called the members of the matrix or the elements of that matrix, right? So the items contain the matrix of what? The members of the elements of the matrix, right? So I'm saying this thing. When it comes to finding the terminal, simply multiply your principal diagonal minus the product of what? the other um, elements. So it's now equal to my principal diagonal contains two elements, n and q. So it becomes n times q minus this times this, n times p. So it's equal to n q minus n p. This is how we find the terminal of the 2x2 two two matrix. Let's take an example. Hold on. Let's take an example. So let's, let me use three numbers here. Yeah? Let's use this 2, 3, 4, 5. For instance, we have to calculate the terminal of this. So it's now being equal to what? Principal diagonal is this. If I say multiply this to this one there, yeah? 2 times 5 minus product of this other 2. That gives you what there? Yeah? 3 times 4. So it's now equal to 2 times 5 is 10 minus 3 times 4 is 12. 10 minus 12, you see what there? Minus 2. That's right. So that's the place. Press put that one now, minus the other one. That's a question. Yo? 
Non lo trovo questo. Poi siamo. Grazie a tutti. Copy down, non è possibile. Please, that is why I'm shouting principle, right? Don't mix it. If you mix it up, you don't have to correct answer. For instance, if you now take 4 times 3, 12 minus 2 times 5, 10, gives you 12 minus 10, which is what there? Plus 2, which is wrong. Your answer is what? Minus 2, not plus. Don't mix it. It's principal first, right hand first, minus left hand. That's right. That's right. That's about 2 by 2 matches. Let's get the terminal for 3 by 3 matches. This one is a bit complex, but copy and look up. We'll take just one example of this. Let's look at how to get the terminal for a 3 by 3 matches. Look at this. How to get determinant for a 3 by 3 matrix? How do you do that? Look up. I'll do an example and we solve together. Example if P is equal to 3, 1, 4, 2, 1, 8, 1, 5, 3. So, of course, this is a square matrix, right? Yeah, why? The same dimension, 3 by 3. Find, find this. What does this mean? Determinant of P. Find this. Alright, solution is. This truck is just too fragile. I want it to break. This truck everywhere. I want it to just break. Solution. Um, so I'm giving this. Back to find. Determinant of P is equal to determinant of what? 3, 1, 4, 2, 1, 8, 1, 5, 3. Now listen, listen, listen. For 2 by 2, what do you do? Principal minus what? The other one there. For 3 by 3, what do you do? Break it down to what? A 2 by 2 matrix first. But that's not the first step. Your first step to calculate the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix is to put in your sign values. What's the sign value? Plus, minus, plus. Your first step put here as well. Plus, minus, plus. Please don't forget this. Plus, minus, plus, plus. Is it a constant? Yes. So constant so for every matrix okay step one put plus minus plus after that one what next break it down to what a two by two matrix how do you do that look up this is now equal to first time plus three plus three get your two by two matrix on here how do you do that for three cancel the row of three cancel the column of three this is three here yeah? Cancel this row of 3 is up. Cancel this column of 3 is up. And left with 1, 8, 5, 3. That's all. Becomes 1, 8, 5, 3. I'm done with this. So this one is up. After plus 3, what's that? What was here? Sorry, what was here? 1. Okay. Uh, after plus 3, what's next here? Huh? So it becomes minus 1 or minus at this. I mean, same thing. Right? Minus 1 into the same as minus this. Alright, for 1, repeat the same process. Cancel the row, cancel the column. For 1 here, yeah, I'll cancel the row, this is up. Cancel the column, this is up. What's left there? 2, 8, 1, 3. 2, 8, 1, 3. I'm done with this. So I'm done with minus 1. Next up, plus 4. So plus 4 into, repeat the same concept. Cancel the row, cancel the column. 
For four here, this is my row. For four here, this is my pony. What are they? Two, one, one, five. That is two, one, one, five. All right. I think that now I can proceed. So this is now equal to three into of course this should be familiar here this is a double what a two by two matrix how do you solve this principal first this times this one times three minus this times this eight times five minus this times this two times three minus this times this eight times one plus four into this times this 2 times 5 minus this times this, 1 times 4. Alright. Try to solve this. What do you have here? This is now equal to 3 into 1 times 3 is 3. Minus 8 times 5 is 40. Minus 2 times 3 is 6. Minus 8 times 1 is 8. Plus 4 into 2 times 5 is 10 minus 1 times 1 is 1. This is now equal to 3 into 3 minus 40 minus 37 minus 6 minus 8 minus 2 plus 4 into 10 minus 1. That's not. I expand bracket equal to this times you know about minus what? One of two one nine and eleven one 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 right three times seven twenty one one carry two three times three is nine plus two eleven minus one 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 okay minus times minus two gives one there plus two plus four times nine gives one there that's a six so add this up what do you get here this is what? 38. So give me minus 111 plus 2 plus 6. What? What do you have? Minus what? Minus 3. This is the answer. That's the answer. So it's all 3 by 3. What's the step again? It's 1 plus minus plus. Plus 3, cover row, cover for you. Having 1853, what you have here? Minus, for this one here, cover row, cover for you. 2813, that's what you have here. Plus, for 4, cover row, cover for you. 2115, that's what you have here. So, plus, minus, plus. Of course, do the normal 2 by 2. This times this, minus this times this, this just like that. Not fine. Or a two by two matrix. Because inverse of a two by two matrix. Well, let's look at the inverse. Two by two matrix. Pick down, please. Pick down. Given a matrix A being equal to M N P Q. Given a matrix A being equal to M N T Q, the inverse of the matrix is written as A inverse, that's A bar minus 1. So what does it Find any to bar minus 1. What does it mean there? Inverse. Means inverse. Right, the inverse of the matrix is given by A is equal to minus 1. And this is equal to this is equal to look at it. It's equal to this. It's equal to one all over the determinant of the matrix times for this matrix for these two I will interchange their position. Q comes this way. 
Q. M goes this way, M. For these two, I will leave them at their position, but I'll add minus. Minus M, that's this, minus T, that's this. This is how you find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. So, 1 all over the determinant into, for the principal diagonal one is there, interchange the elements. For the other one is there now, add minus, that's all. Let's take an example and see what we make. Example. If Q is equal to 3, 5, 1, 4, find Q inverse. Find Q inverse. Solution is what do I know? What's Q inverse? Say Q inverse to be equal to what there? One all over what? Determinant of what? Q. Into interchanges to. That is what now? Four and what? Three. Add minus these two. This is what there? Minus one. In fact, change these ones, add minus this one, that's all. So, I don't have one thing. I seem to get what here? Determinant. So, get the determinant of Q. If Q is equal to, or perhaps, determinant of Q is equal to determinant of what? 3, 5, 1, 4. This is now equal to this time, this. 3 times 4 minus this times this 5 times 1 equal 3 times 4 is 12 minus 5 times 1 is 5 12 minus 5, what do you get? 7 That's it Alright, so I've got it, look up Look up I've got it, this as 7 I've got it, the time that has 7 Hence I can now evaluate the inverse. So it means that Q inverse is equal to 1 all over, 1 all over, the standard of Q. This is what here? How many here? 7. 7. Into what here? 4 minus 5 minus 1. This is your answer. Or you could go further. How? It's equal to 1 over 7 times 4. Give you what there? 4 over 7. True? That's true. 1 over 7 times 4. 4 times 1 is 4. 1 over 7. 1 over 7 times 5. Give you what there? Minus 5 over 7. 1 over 7 times minus 4. Give you what? Minus 1 over 7. 1 over 7 times 3 is what there? 3 over 7. So, this becomes the value of Q inverse. That's the answer. The step is just 1 all over determinant times for principal diagonal interchange elements. For the last value there, add minus. That's it. Let's try some jump questions. Think that way. Take that one. We have this. We said x squared 1 4 is equal to 12. We said find x. Find x. Here are your options. 3 6 Minus 6. Minus 2. So here's the typical jump question. Say find x in this case. Alright, alright, alright. Let's get this done. Solution. So I'm given x 12, 1, 4 is equal to 12. Question. 
When you see this, what does it mean? When you see this, what does it mean? Huh? What does it mean? When you see it like this, what does it mean? Determinant. I'm going to get the determinant of this. If I'm defining the determinant here, what do I do? What do I do there? Multiply what there? Let's put that down. So it gives you what there? This times this. 4 times x minus this times this. 12 times 1. Have it? Yes. Um, what's what there? 12. This gives you what there? 4x minus 12 times 1. 12 is equal to 12. Take off the bracket. I have 4x minus 12 equal to 12. Make x subject to the formula. How do I do that? First of all, move this one here over here. So I have 4x is equal to, here is 12. Minus 12 comes and comes over there. Plus 12. Minus 12 comes here becomes plus 12. So I have this as 4x is equal to 12 plus 12, 24. How do you get x? Divide by 4. So 4x all over 4 is equal to 24 all over 4. 4 times 4. So x is equal to what do you get there? 6. Which option? B. That's it. Another jam question to take down. From the diagram below, from the diagram below, from the diagram below, find the value of x and y respectively. From the diagram below, find the value of x and y respectively. Let's do this please. Find the value of x and y respectively. Okay, the options. Uh, a yes. Minus 3 minus 2. B yes. Minus 5 minus 3. C yes. Minus 2 minus 5. D yes. Minus 3. So, here are the options. So, how do you solve this? It's easy. It's easy. Of course, for this, these two here, what are you doing? Are they adding or subtracting or multiplying or dividing? They are adding. So, ignore the x and take out the other ones. 0 plus 1 is 1. Minus 1 plus minus 1. Minus 2. That's correct. Minus 1 plus 0. That's minus 1. That's correct. 2 plus 2 is 4. That's correct. So how do you get x and y? Simply add up corresponding positions. I see. I have what here? 1. I have what here? x. So it means that it means that 1 plus x is equal to what do you have here? Plus minus 2. Are we good with this? Are we good? Right? 
just this plus this equal to this one here, that's all. Alright, from here now, how do you get x here? Move this one here over here. That means x is equal to minus 2. Plus 1 comes in because of that, minus 1. So x is now equal to minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. So hence, x is minus 3. Let's get to y. Same case. See the two positions in y is here. So pick this position, this and this. So it means that this plus this is equal to this. So 2 plus y is equal to minus 3. 2 plus y is equal to minus 3. Get y here. I'll move this to this point here. It means that y is equal to this is minus 3. Plus 2 comes in the cost of that. Minus 2. So y is equal to minus 3 minus 3. So there. Minus 5. He said find x and y respectively. To get your x value first, your y. What's x here? What's y here? What's your answer here? D. 